Fanfare provided by Gunning Bedford Middle School students and a yummy assortment of fresh baked goodies made by students at George Reed Middle School, guests came to McCullough Middle School to see something that hasn't been seen for more than 10 years. Look up when the lights are out because the old planetarium is new again. When I first brought them in here, you should have seen the looks on their faces. It was all they talked about for a week. And that's even my students who don't ever pick their heads up off the desk. Um, they are proud of the fact that we have it. They love visualizing and seeing things. Um, they love movies. So this is almost like a big movie for them. And it brings education to life. From astrology to human anatomy, movies, and even presentations the students create themselves, the new state-of-the-art digital planetarium does it all. The planetarium to me is a good experience because it shows us 3D things and if people at McKellar Middle School are visual learners, it's hard for them to work on paper. It would be a good opportunity for them to use the planetarium to see what actually is going on in the real world. I really love the planetarium because with the different things that we could do in here, it will really help the students learn more and get active. I'm a visual learner and it could be easier for me to visualize it. Karen Keyes wondered how an English teacher could help visualize lessons in the planetarium. If we're learning about Greek mythology, we can totally use the nighttime sky and starry night. Um, also, we read a story called Out of Desire about uh, Hurricane Katrina. We could actually use layered earth discussing different hurricanes and different things and tie it in. There's actually a world, world of ways. For former colonials who remember coming to the old planetarium as kids, the new planetarium was a real eye-opener. It's just out of this world, no pun intended. It's, it's kind of neat to see um, a lot of things you remember from when you were a kid, but uh, the stuff, the new stuff that's being incorporated, I'm excited for because my kids will come here and they'll be a part of it on field trips because so they're in Colonial too. We're trying to reinvent education to make sure that kids win, our community wins, and that ultimately our whole United States wins. Lisa Mims loves to infuse anything that involves technology in all of her classroom instruction. So it came as no surprise when this fifth grade Pleasantville teacher took a chance to win drones for her students in a national contest. What was a surprise is that she won. It happened to pop up on my phone and I just started screaming. It's something that I wouldn't have been able to purchase myself so it's huge for me when I won these drones and it's something I'm going to be able to use every year so it's not a one-time deal. This all looks like simple kids play as the students make the drones maneuver around the hallways using their iPads as controllers and if you think using the drones inside looks like fun and games just take a look at them using them outside with the tiny figures taking flight that after the students learn how to program them to do so on their computers and for kids like Justin that's the best part. They can do all these cool things and you can program them to do whatever you want. I want to be an engineer when I grow up. So this is pretty helpful to you. Yes. I enjoy flying them and like seeing how high they can go. And it's really fun to see them move around and it's really cool. I'm learning more about technology and like how to code them and stuff like that. The most educational value is the fact that the kids can code using the drones. So they can actually learn how to program the drones, which is huge because these are the careers that we're looking at for the future. We want our kids to be future ready. From students at McCullough looking up at the new dome in the planetarium to students here at Pleasantville flying drones, clearly the sky is the limit. I'm Lauren Wilson, your public information officer for the Colonial School District.